that, oh, we're not having to battle who our government put in charge of the rebels in Syria. We're battling a new group that we keep accidentally giving airdrops of weapons to. And so now we have to give up all of our freedoms and liberties because the jihadis have come to town. And it can be used to then take freedoms across the board, create new Islamophobia, which will be used to set up a larger police state that will end up being actually pointed at and deployed against gun owners, returning veterans, conservatives, libertarians, Christians, pro-lifers, land rights activists, get us out of the UN activists, you name it. And we've seen this carried out on a smaller scale, beta tested over and over again since 9-11. But now it's being rolled out writ large. I've told you, I expect attacks on soft targets, probably in Paris first. I don't know how, uh, folks, the clips, the, the, there's got to be 50 of those or more, where I said in the last two years until you were sick of hearing it. In fact, we have a journal every day where we were write down notes of my predictions, so we should be able to search that and pull a few, you know, you know clips of that. Just to show new listeners that I'm not just making these claims. I said, I would expect Paris to get hit first. And then London. And then New York. And then some city like Austin, Texas. I think Austin will probably get hit. Because I just don't have to look at the whole background and what's being deployed. And they won't have to stage it this time. Because they have promoted it and hyped it and pushed it to certain extents throughout the media. That when... Al-Qaeda and ISIS puts out a report a week ago, a video, saying attack the French. Well, it was time for those trained in Yemen who in a anti-gun, anti-defense, uh, anti-freedom society like France were able to have RPGs and automatic weapons and go kill at least 13 people, three of them police officers, and now they're saying at least four hostages are dead, but there's still explosions and fire and smoke in France, in the woods. Who knows what's going on? We'll try to figure it out at another point. It doesn't really matter, though. That's just a soap opera. The larger issue is... We predicted it. It wasn't hard to predict. It's like if you douse yourself in gasoline and light yourself on fire, you're going to probably get burned. Not a very hard prediction to make. And again, that's how stupid the social engineers think you are and I'm are. That's not proper English. You are and I'm are. That's how dumb they think we collectively are is that they could arm for four plus years, give tens of billions of dollars through NATO, through the U.S., through Turkey, and a bunch of other countries, a coalition to gang up on Libya, gang up on Syria, turn the countries over to Al-Qaeda and ISIS, jihadis out of Saudi Arabia, under any name it's the same thing, the same black flags, the same symbols, the same Bin Laden Brigade garbage, to blow up every mosque that isn't radical, every Shiite mosque, every Alawite mosque, every synagogue, every church, and crucify Christians and rape them and murder them and conscript their daughters into sex slavery and to eat hearts on TV. Just scum of the earth. Our government did this, and now hundreds of thousands, at least 200,000 of these people are running around Iraq and Syria, and many of them come from the United States, England, and France. And remember last year and the year before when it was in the news that they were allowing people to recruit on Facebook and Twitter in the U.S. and England and Europe to go back and forth and that French and British and others were letting them fly back and forth in their Muslim gear with the, with the beards, with the Bin Laden flags, saying on their Facebooks, we're going to Afghanistan, we're going to... Uh, Libya, we're going to Syria, we're going to Iraq to fight jihad and Western governments who were funding it in the zone, let them recruit online and let them go back and forth and now let them attack in Paris 
So they have a justification to grab my genitals or put me in a naked body scanner at the airport. What a stinking, giant, disgusting fraud. And now the head of the MI5 says, brace for Al-Qaeda, ISIS, to attack the West. We'll play that clip when we come back. Stay with us. You know about RVs, you've heard about bunkers, but surviving is not recreation. And man wasn't made to live underground. Introducing Survivalist Camps, the ultimate fully functional off-the-grid survival bug-out house that's mobile, well-equipped, and custom-built to outlast any other RV or trailer. Go to survivalistcamps.com to learn more. That's survivalistcamps.com, providing your basic needs to survive. Survivalistcamps.com. Managing your business and customers isn't easy, huh? Snapforce Customer Relationship Software may be just what you need. Snapforce CRM is a software solution that helps you manage everything important about your customers, from sales to marketing to service and support. All of your customer information is right there at your fingertips for easy access. It's time to take control of your business in a snap. Get your free trial at snapforce.com. That's S-N-A-P-F-O-R-C-E.com. Snapforce.com. This is a serious topic for all men. Every single man listening may have a prostate problem if he lives long enough. That's right. All of us men may suffer from a prostate problem, like urinating more often, waking at night to urinate, or problems with intimacy. That's why every man needs to call for a free bottle of Super Beta Prostate, a non-prescription formula guaranteed to reduce the symptoms of your enlarged prostate. It's free, pay only shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-964-7470. Prostate problems may not be an issue of if. They can be an issue of when. Super Beta Prostate's ingredient is clinically shown to reduce urges to urinate, reduce waking at night to go, and help improve intimacy. Call for your free bottle. Just call 1-800-964-7470. That's 1-800-964-7470. Call 1-800-964-7470. Healthy elimination is essential to high energy, a cheerful mood, and prevention of disease. Some of the founders of our modern holistic health thinking state that disease begins in a toxic colon. A toxic intestinal tract is the foundation for virtually all degenerative disease. And a clean and well-moving intestinal tract is the foundation of health. I just want to say that you folks have an amazing product. I've taken whey protein products for years, and I've never noticed results I have with your product. I've suffered with thoughts of constipation most of my life. Within a few days of taking One World Way, I noticed a dramatic change. Also, in the past few years, I've experienced symptoms associated with diabetes. I feel horrible when I've had too much sugar, and I've been getting the foot pain as well. But I've noticed in the past week or so, I'm not feeling bad anymore, and the foot pain is gone. I'm just finishing up a five-pound top I ordered and just got off the phone ordering more. I love your product. Thank you. Call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988-3325. Or visit oneworldway.com. That's one world, W H E Y dot com. Attention, Alex Jones listeners. When you're on the road or have limited data or Wi Fi, now you can listen to Alex Jones unfiltered and untapped at no extra charge on this non federal phone number, 1 605 562 5136. Try it now to listen to Alex Jones 24 7 at no extra cost or data charges. These are not on federal lines. These are lines located on Indian reservations off the grid. Call 1 605 562 5136. No smartphones or internet needed. To hear Alex Jones untapped and off the grid, just call 1 605 562 5136. Hey, Sorry I'm running late. I had to stop and get my vitamins for the month. I got mine in the mail yesterday from DiscountNutritionShop.com. So I'm here, totally on time. <laughs> DiscountNutritionShop.com? Yep, they're a lifesaver in more ways than one. They have all the nutritional supplements you need, the major brands you know. Plus, you can save up to 10%. Write down this number, 888-908-4548. Huh? 888-908-4548. Or just go to DiscountNutritionShop.com. Alex Jones here back live. It's finally mainstream news. I've got a stack of it here. Health officials warn of Legionnaire's disease outbreak in New York City. That's coming up. Unraveling key to cold virus. Harsh respiratory viruses slams Colorado. They're warning of super strains of pneumonia killing people across the United States. 
in 2014, I lost three family members in December and January of 2013, 2014 to these super viruses. And believe me, this winter is just as bad and it's finally being reported on. That's coming up. Also, breaking exclusive to Infowars.com, drug cartel places a $45 million bounty on Rick Perry's head, and that comes from directly inside two legislatures. I'll just leave it at that. But this is directly to our office from very credible sources. We made some phone calls. You can then see the response of Perry's office. The article is at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Drug cartel places 45 million bounty on Rick Perry's head. Fake terror group plans mass casualty attacks against the West. That means ISIS slash Al-Qaeda. A special report by John Bound that folks think is controversial. The Islamification in the Obama nation, well, there's there's no doubt there's a lot, there's an Islamis, Islamification of Europe in the United States, Europe more intensely. Uh, Snowden says cyber war more damaging to the U.S. than any other nation. Insider reports Obama is being blackmailed by Muslim Brotherhood. That's an Egyptian colonel and FBI informant we interviewed yesterday, Ahmad Salem. Really big news on the economic front I want to get into. You know, in the last three months, more than 65% of new oil drilling uh, permits by the federal government have been denied. And now uh, the debt that uh, the U.S. oil producers, smaller companies were accruing to start drilling or to continue drilling is set to bankrupt most of them in the next year. So see, the driving down oil prices bankrupts the Russians and it bankrupts independent U.S. oil producers. We're going to be breaking all of that down and more today. I got a call this morning about 30 minutes before airtime, speaking of the Paris situation that's ongoing with reports of the terrorists being dead and four of the hostages being dead. But then they're saying the hostages are alive. We don't know. Britain's MI5 warns Al-Qaeda planning mass attacks on the West. Well, of course, you help give them a new base. You give them tens of billions of dollars. You give them artillery support by the Turkish military. Uh, you call them freedom fighters in Syria. And now they've turned into Iraq and we're having to fight them there. Of course, they're going to come back. Most of them come from Western countries. They were allowed to organize by our media, by our governments. And now those governments will take our freedoms when they attack us. And the cops getting their heads blown off will be real. The citizens getting shot will be real. I got a call this morning by a very credible, high-level source. U.S. military intel via NATO and their liaisons with the French National Anti-Terror Police who were directly involved inside the French satirical newspaper, Charlie Hebdo, that a rocket-propelled grenade was used inside. Just an interesting little factoid. And one reason we haven't been shown more images inside, just one shot of a bloody hallway with blood splattered everywhere and papers blown everywhere. Guns don't blow papers everywhere. In fact, can we pull up the one photo we have? Notice there's papers all over the place. That's what a grenade does. And it was reported by the Daily Mail yesterday on Thursday in an article, deep inside the article, teenage suspects arrested after handing himself into police as the headline. Uh, on page 12, as well as the AK-47 assault rifles, there were also reports of rocket propelled grenades being used in the attacks. We heard from witnesses they had RPGs, rocket propelled grenades, but this is from a source confirming it, who talked, my source talked directly to the French source. High level. High level. And you look at that photo, the, they've now released more photos. That's from the firebombing originally that happened. But the new photo is a paper splattered all over the place. And uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, the word is RPG was used on them. Just a little side note, 
Uh, when we come back, I'm going to play the MI5 chief saying Al-Qaeda, Al-Qaeda under any other name is still Al-Qaeda, ISIS or whatever, is going to be attacking. We're on the